Alright. What's up, everybody? I'm Mr. Glasgow, and this is Mr. Glasgow TV. It is Tuesday, September 18th, 2018. And today we're going to play 7 Billion Humans. Uh, it's a game by Tomorrow Corporation. They're an indie, develop uh, indie game developer. Um, they made some titles that I own, uh, that I previously own, which include... Or they made some titles, one of which I, uh, I own, which is World of Goo, if anybody's played that. It's a, it's a, it has a fun, you can already tell the aesthetic of this, uh, these game devs are very uh, distinct. Uh, this game in particular centers around programming and um, automation. It's a puzzle game essentially. Uh, not knowing that much about computer programming, I want to say I'm not sure how exact it is, uh, but from what I've seen uh, in the early levels that progressively get harder, it could be or it could be kind of a parody of what really goes on when it comes to programming and automating um, software, hardware, or whatever. So yeah, just check things here and I feel like this is a good game to play to kind of decompress from playing so much Spider-Man and this is a game that I thought of when I was playing the mini games in like Doc Ock's uh, Dr. Octavius's lab and some of Spider-Man's gadgets require mini games um, that imply some kind of technical prowess or whatever I feel like this is actual like legit <laughs> elevation of of what those what he was probably doing as far as programming, coding, and all this other stuff. But let's get to it. The game, the music you're actually listening to, is the Star Menu game stuff. So yeah. <laughs> There we go. Please select my ID. What do I look like? Like this guy? Like this guy? This guy has some of his hair left. I'm, I'm like going though. Like me. This is me. Okay. Here's my badge. Wait, did, did I did I get an opportunity to say put my name down? I don't, I don't say it. I think it's a part of this game, in, based on my just snapshot of what I think this game is about, it's about how there's 7 billion human beings, over 7 billion human beings on Earth. And the only way to really cope with that much people is to put things in automation. And it's like an over-dramatization of that approach to like population and jobs and whatever. So maybe I don't get a name because you I'm just employee number one. Hardworking farmer, mm -hmm. let machines do that for you. Are you a hardworking coal miner, truck driver, or coffee shop employee? Let machines do that for you. Uh, well, actually. Mm. Tastes like progress. But aren't there any good jobs left for hardworking families like us? You'll never need to work again. Machines have provided unlimited free energy. Unlimited fast, clean transportation. Unlimited free, nutritious food. Mm, you're completely free to do whatever you want in marvelous modern utopia. But we want good paying jobs. jobs, jobs, jobs. Okay, creating jobs. You want jobs? You will have jobs. They will be the best jobs. Huge. Believe me, you have never seen so many jobs. Where can we get these jobs? Just show up on Monday. The machines have created enough jobs for every single person on the planet and the whole family to enjoy. 
I have a PhD in medieval French literature. Even the most useless skills can be put to work in the new office building visible from space. Congratulations, all seven billion humans on the planet. You're hired. Well, there you go. <laughs> My suspicions are confirmed. That's what happens when automation gets out of control, guys. You're late. Am I? Everyone's already here. Just standing. Blinking. Waiting for your instruction. This is not just you anymore. You're the boss of all these workers. They will do whatever you say. Let's see how uh, fit this workforce is. Please just... Have everyone pick up their individual green data cube and drop it again. See those little arms put to good use. Yes, there's nothing like an early success to inspire confidence. Okay. Maybe we're gonna step down. Step down. Pick up. Drop. Play. Yes, stunning work, everyone. Good job. We did it. We're programmers now, guys. Official. It's official. These workers are clearly expecting uh, our experts at picking up and putting stuff down again. And that's the game, guys. That's Port Squad. Hey, you guys up there. The line of data cubes is too far away to read. Please tell the workers to move the entire line of data cubes down by two tiles. Uh, just set it right there between those nice potted plants. We can see a little easier. These glasses aren't just for looking handsome, you know. Okay. Step down. Pick up. Step down one. Step down two. Drop. That's more like it. Like icons on a desktop, deliberate positioning is everything. Okay. Long distance delivery. So I just read a book on mindfulness meditation. It's so important. I'll let you borrow later. I would like to completely clear my mind and also the room. All data cubes and workers must be cleared away so I can concentrate. All data cubes and workers? Workers, please pick up the data cube next to you. Just keep walking until the until you exit the room through the one of the those convenient holes over in the right. What's at the bottom of those holes? Those infinite holes? Yes, a very good question to think about while meditating. <laughs> Got a new command. Jump. Well, your workers will not actually jump in the air. This is not one of those games. Here. We'll tell you all about it. So, step over, pick up, wait, and then I jump to this, then it repeats, step over, right, and even though there's nothing to pick up, it'll just keep going, because the idea is to get, to complete the objective in the least amount of, um, the least amount of uh, commands. Move my little guy out of the way. My little me. Nothing to pick up. Nothing to pick up. <laughs> Last eye. 
I am an ocean. I am an autumn forest. I'm a sunset. I am hungry. Anyone want to get lunch? Anyone? But oh, boom. I guess later on they rate. Cause there's a there's a way to see how you're doing compared to like the most the minimum amount of uh, commands necessary. We'll ask ourselves a little question. Would you prefer an instant sh shrieking, splattering, instant shrieking, splattering doom, or going to a really fun office birthday party? But now you have a new command to help you decide. Well, let's all take a look at our left, then to our right. On one side you have a nice data cube illuminating the way forward to the office party. On the other side you have eternal doom. Uh, use your if command to locate which side has the data cube. You continue walking in that direction until you fall in the, in, the, in the nice safe hole that will take you to the office birthday party. Choose wisely. Be there. Okay. If uh if what? If to the right or if to the left equals data cube. Step that direction. Pick up And then we'll jump command that to this. Else, step other direction, pick up, jump command to here. Right? Yes, congratulations. This was truly a feat of engineering. I'm not feeling like attending the party. Who do you guys have? <laughs> you guys have fun. All been there, right? Little experiment. I'm learning programming. In fact, I already solved this assignment for you. Well, sort of. The worker is supposed to go pick up that cube down below without falling in the holes. Something's wrong. I'll allow you to fix it for me. Let's watch what happens together. Okay. Step down, step down, step left, step left, step down, step down. Um... Step this way. If nothing's there... I can't change this? Step one at a time. Just checking if there's nothing there. Can I edit it? So should check if there's something here. If something. Right? Then we go step down, step down, step down, step down, step down, step down. This way, check if there's something there, there's nothing, check. This is a mess. The engineers, the engineers left data all over the floor. These people have no appreciation for our style of art. So let's pick up all the data cubes and organize them into a nice long 
line along the bottom row. Right between those useful arrows. But watch out for that infinite hole. What? Uh, how can you know where the data cubes are? Where infinite holes are? It says here. Remember, your if command will illuminate the world around you. People say the world around me is a haze of confusion. Okay. Um. Step down. I'm trying to think how to automate it already. Uh, step down. Should I start it off as if? If below you is nothing, step down. Else, step down, pick up. And this here will get them basically to pick it up. Then what happens afterwards? Then if down equals hole drop. Else step down. Do the jump there. There. Right. Let's say. Drop. Yes. <laughs> First try. Whoa. Now we're living dangerously. Really, on the edge. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Next floor. Enter to morale officers. Congratulations! You're doing great! I cannot believe how great you're doing. As your employee morale officers. We are here to offer occasional tips on how to keep your workers feeling delighted. For example... Come on up, Jeff. We yeah, find that me. workers appreciate an occasional Almost. confirmation of a job well done. You might say, congratulations, you're doing great. Followed by a gentle but firm pat on the rear. <laughs> that avoid Jeff. When I was his age, I was a refrigerator. Good work, everyone. You know how many salads wilted inside me? With enough teamwork and engineering, even a kitchen appliance can become a mid-level office manager. We're not just building data solutions. We're, We're building, building a, a family. family. Dynamic angles? Well, that was a good cup of coffee. Wants to do something crazy. That nice steady straight horizontal line of data cubes. Let's be wild and turn it into a diagonal line. Hot, that was really good. Is that first data cube where it is? And make that line descend like a staircase. Uh -huh. Data displayed at a 45 degree angle. Never heard of such a thing. Okay. Um. If. 
right there. What's up, Tony? Seen your, seen your pick? Uh, no, I've been, I've been like, <laughs> today was kind of hectic. Like even my, I had a those posts that I did on social media was like right before going live. What was it? There's something. No wait. The dead cube down. Pick up. Step down. Oh wait. Step down. Pick up. Step down. Oh, you got your Spidey Platinum? Nice. You haven't made any progress since I, I logged off. Cup down. Otherwise, step down. Eat. How do they exit? How do we exit the F? Um, I think I'm having this wrong. There's a data cube. Grab it and step down. Diagonal equals the data cube. Drop it. Can I make it jump down? Step down. Okay, this works. They stop. Pick up, step down, and then I should have made a jump to where. To here. They jumped here. Do I do another jump to here? If that works. <clears throat> Ooh, smooth. You did it. Oh no. What have we done? Under five commands? Five commands. Emergency, emergency escapades. Just received a fax. You're experiencing impressive stunning fanfare. Oh, that's nice. Oops, I mean imminent structural failure. <laughs> yes, it appears this room is collapsing and we have to exit immediately. Oh no. Okay, let's keep reading. One of the holes in the room here has a nice fluffy exit chute below it. And you will be carried to safety in the strong, handsome arms of your rescue squad. I wrote this. All of the holes leading all other holes lead to painful splattering doom. Find your way, um, just follow the instructions over there. One. Okay. Let me just do if. And 
num the number you're on is four. You go left. How do you select a copy? Close down. If current number is a three, looks like you're supposed to set down. If it's a four, step. Left. Oh wait, we already did left. So what's right? Two. We have up, down, left, right, so that should pretty much cover it. Ah! <laughs> okay. Alright, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, if... Current one that you're not you're standing on is nothing. Oh wait, no. If technically a floor isn't considered nothing. So basically, just. Step, this direction. Right, if current is less than one. is everything step this way do it like this the jump have to make him take a leap of faith. There's no if. It's just like, just move, just go. Something. <laughs> Step. And then jump. Fifth. I think I'm overthinking this. I just need them to step this way. And then if... If it's a one. Do this stuff. Over and over. Otherwise, step again. Right. Yeah, there we got it.
hit him. Look at him go. I wonder if that's the minimum. I don't think it is. I feel like I'm writing these codes. Thick. Thick codes. It's your turn. Help. I know how to program just a manager. <laughs> Messy squad. Nine. I use thirteen. That's the at least not double. <laughs> Fewer seconds. Good goodness. The target was twenty five seconds. Okay. Objection site one. Year eleven. It's like each each level's counted as a year, but they want me to do it in like 25 seconds. <laughs> Burden data cues from management. Unless it's talking about how long it takes the program to run. Poor data cues from management. Uh, put them down there on the floor in those horizontal lines. Most of them, anyways. Kind of zoned out. Um, you guys fill in the missing data in each line. Let's put those data cues where they fit. Photo doesn't matter. I think there should be an empty slot below each of you. As long as those horizontal lines appear complete, I'm sure no one will complain. Okay. Right? So. Everybody step down. Pick up your stuff. And then. Step down again. Now. If. Can I say left and right? I'm gonna hold shift. No. Click that little button on the right side of if. This? Oh, and? If this equals data cube and this equals data cube then drop otherwise step down oh wait they're going to drop it on top of it i need to do and this has no data cube wait wait, wait. How do you say no data cube? This equals... Well, if it all equals data cube... Step down. Otherwise, drop it. Right? <laughs> no. Because then you'll drop it if there's no data cube. How are we going to do this? Go down, pick it up. Then put down if your surroundings at a cube, drop it. What if they're standing on one? Oh, I see what I do. I do this. Uh, if. Space below. Frick. Here we Step down. Pick up. Now. Step. Face in front of them. Oh, a gap. 
Oops. Uh, what is it? If there's a if there's a data cube there. What's considered nothing though? Nothing I I think is considered the abyss. The blank space is not considered nothing. So oh, that okay, I guess that's considered nothing. So if it's not something then that's something. And that and that equals static cube. And step down drop. Otherwise Step down. And reassess. Boop. 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 Yay. Five. Eight. You get that in five. Unzip. So this is this line of data. Move the leftmost data cube up, and move the next data cube in the line down. And up, and down, you know, like unzipping a zipper. I already, I've already started this solution for you. You're welcome. Um, pick up the one next to you. If you're next to a wall. Step up. And then drop. Otherwise, I guess I could put or. There's a person. Oh wait, then everybody's gonna step up. Everybody's gonna step up. I'll do this. I'll just get rid of this line. Oh no. Maybe this is wrong altogether. I guess the wall is the starting point for that person to step up. Otherwise, then everybody else. Otherwise, put another if in here for everybody else that says so everybody's going to stay put while this gets completed. Right? We're going to check if there's nothing there. No, wait. There's a person there. And step down, drop. What it looks like. I'm gonna pick it up here. There. Then if here, the worker. Up. Oh. 
Wait, do I have to include these later? Oops. There, the jump to. Here. Right? Let's see if that works. That saves us some lines of code. Well, we got that guy. Dang it. Um. Guess we just need another jump command to recycle it. Yeah, right. I wonder if that's a proper. If there's a way to make them all uni in unison go doosh. Projection site 2. Oops. Okay, let's not panic. Happened again. Then we sent over with some very important data cubes, and I put most of them down here on the floor. I think I missed a few spots. I mean, you're not the most attentive listener either. <laughs> Nodding along, hoping I'll stop talking soon. I know. This is our life together now. Just grab all those data cubes over there, and fill in those horizontal lines however you like. Organize them. I'm sure you can figure out how to identify where they go. But fill in the gaps. <coughs> Obviously, step down, pick up your cube. Now. Need at least to feel out the environment now. If. If. Basically, everything below you. Data cube. Step down, maybe? And then try again. Otherwise, step down and drop it. How do we find these holes? for the straight down one. Otherwise... Wait, I can make him step down until they get to a wall. And then start going over and then back up. Like I can nail these three. Ideally I'd, I'd make a code here that would work for any configuration or I can specifically make a code to met, get these exact holes. Make them go down, make them go over, and then make them go up, essentially. Everything below you, if everything below you is a data cube, step down twice. Otherwise, just step down one. Right? Pete. I'm doing this all wrong. Tell. See. Let's reset. Step down, pick up. Then let's make the conditions of the drop first. If 
that is a data cube. And that is a data cube. And that uh, is not an attic cube. Then you are to step into that hole and drop it in the middle. Now, uh, let's have an initial step down here. Wait, can you make them step multiple directions? I think it's later for them to randomize it. Then we jump. Otherwise, step down. I'll loop that until they get down to the bottom. So this will fill these three holes. And then they're stuck there. I guess I could do multiple if. Do I feel what's the, it's this direction? It has to be if this is a wall. Then move over. then how do I know how far to move them over? Unless I, like I said, specifically tailor this to this one. But I feel like that's not the most efficient way to do it. The most efficient way to do it is to make a universal kind of code that would work for all randomization. But if it's a wall, then step this direction. And then... I can make this very specific actually. I can literally tell this guy, I could have a line of code in here say if you're standing on 84 then step over twice and put it, put it down. Should I do it that way? Yeah, you know, for the sake of me not being able to, everybody's gonna step down, pick up their block. And they're all gonna step down. two times. Now if the number that they're standing on equals <laughs> this is very going to be specific to everyone equals 49 then you're going to step down twice Drop your block. If what you're standing on it's 50, so can I just type it in? 50. Seven. And step down twice. Over once, drop. You are nine. Uh, 
I don't think they give me enough tools to do this any other way, uh, unless I'm really just not I'm not thinking outside the box enough. Number nine is gonna go. We can go here, I guess. You're on the nine. Step down. I can actually make this easier where it says if uh, the number you're stepping on is in three. Right. Yeah. Make him step down twice. Oh no, he's gonna step down. He's not. He flip three. He's gonna go over. I wonder if they run into each other. Oh man, it's gonna mess it up. <laughs> Unless they wait. I don't know if they're gonna wait. Uh, once he's on three. Yep. Over twice. Two. Three times. Over three times. Drop. Then you're on this is way You're on forty four Wait, how do I do this? Forty nine's going down, seven's going over kind of nine going to this hole. 44 can go to this hole. Over. Four times. Just click it. Down until twenty. Twenty and go over. I know I'm already doing this inefficient. I should just make anybody aligned already with a hole do the hole, but... <laughs> uh, we've already gone down this way. 2 to 20. 1, 2, 3. Drop. Wait, I'm not doing the else's. Wait. Otherwise, down again, twice. Okay, last one. Gonna be the longest. I'm gonna break the record on the longest code ever written for early stage puzzle. Eighty-four. I'm gonna do the old step down twice. And assess what we're on. I'm looking for seventy six. And it's not 
step down again. And we're gonna step. I failed so hard that they didn't allow me to beat the level. Wow. Choose a failed more than 50% of the random tests. I have to take a new approach. Can I try produ Oh yeah, you could click this guy for clues. I forgot. I think. I'm trying to run your program again right now and play. You did in 10. I said I can make these guys do the default code to get to these these three gaps. Then I make the other two hit this line and go over. Hit this line, go over. So I think. Step down, pick up. Yeah. Data cube, data cube, another data cube. Step down, up the data cube. Otherwise, step down. Seven. They did. It said mat, the minimum or the the lowest amount of steps is ten. So in three more steps, I have to instruct these other guys to find these holes. This guy. This. These two guys. I could say if. Put it here, if the number you're on is, now this once again is going to specifics, is 79 or 16 or 15 Wait, what? And I can jump them to a different condition where
No, wait. Fourteen. Or thirty-two. Let's say they're wrong. So seventy-nine for this hole. Fourteen for this hole. Thirty-two for this hole. They will then move over. Yeah. To the side of you. There is not a data cube. Step over. Like this still has to be like this. Right. Step over and grow. Otherwise, step over. Fourteen. That's not bad compared to what was it? <laughs> there, go. Dang it. Pick it up. There's nothing drop, otherwise, oh, step down. We get this. Go to here. Otherwise, there, there, I fixed it. Boop-a-doo, boop-a-doo, boop doo Oh no, 35, what are you doing? He was on 79, he was on 79, so he went to go here, which said, if nothing there, step, otherwise, step, oh, and there's no jump, and then jump back here, okay, this back step. Goes over, he's gonna go over, he's gonna go over, 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 boop. <laughs> okay, good thing they move. 10 to 16. Excuse me? I should have failed more than 50% of this random test. Take a new approach. Oh, if the numbers were randomized, I'm guessing? So I do have to make it universal, I can't just make it specific. Uh, come on. So how do I make him stop on a line? Without hitting a wall. Mind you, this is like an optional one to like the main puzzles, but it's the numerical. The next numerical one, so I'm trying to see if I can get it. Uh. Yep. Did we get another clue? Walk the lines on the gaps. Fill the gaps. Pick up. So do I just like... If right. yep.
This is the hard part. It's, it's starting to is directing them. Yep. Here. Yep, they're in a gap. Between, if they're in between two data cubes. Problem. Basically, so this defines the their environment. If they're if they're where they're standing, there's the data cube on either side. Drop it because there's no other way that could be possible unless they're standing in a gap. Now I need to write something that makes them wander until they get into a gap. Otherwise, keep stepping down. If it's not a wall. There's no wall there. No wall keeps stepping down. There is a wall. I can make him zigzag. Step. Otherwise, step diagonally that way. These guys are gonna go here. And then they're gonna do this. Step diagonally, and then I have to make them jump back up to this, though. Stick them back, step back down. Then they'll kind of go like this for these, but how do I get them up here? Okay, wait. I like this one so far. This one, I don't know about this one. If. They're standing. There's a data cube. They're standing as a data cube. Oh, I see. I have to make them snake. Okay, I get it. So where they're standing is a data cube. way. Right. Move right. I need to make something that's like, and if I'm 
standing on is a daddy cube and you're at a wall. Oh no wait, I can make me jump here to the step down. Down twice. Twelve. Why aren't they moving right? They only move right once. <laughs> then they said go here, drop it. Condition. All right. They're standing on a daddy cube. I want them to move right and then start exploring to the right. So I basically need to say step right and if standing on. Not a daddy cube. Drop. Otherwise, step on it again. Not a daddy cube. Four. There's no data cube where you're standing. Good. Oh, else, yeah. Where you're standing, data cube, step over. And then if that is not a data cube, drop. Or if right next to you is a wall, drop and jump, stepping over more. between this what? Pick up, step down. Where you're at, I guess I should specify this some more. And there's not something here. Drop. There's not. Or if you're standing on a daddy cube, I want to say basically start going to the right. this comes in. You're on a data cube. You're not on a data cube. 
drop. Because I need to jump if they're dropping. Otherwise, step to the right again. And this is where the jump goes. And if. Okay, and then if. This. The wall. down twice which takes them to the next line and then I want to say <laughs> if when you're standing on not a data cube drop otherwise yep left and if where you're standing nothing drop otherwise nothing <laughs> all right let's see it's long, but uh, day. No, wait. I don't know if they'll zigzag. Speed it up. Okay, so if I need it, if you reach this wall. <laughs> The stepping to this side. If wait, if this side is a wall, then we'll jump them back to part and make them step down twice. Step down twice, but I need him to go the other way. If you're standing on a cube and I guess I should say, or this is a wall. Some right. Tip the right. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> so the overcrowding makes it. I feel like this will work if, like, once they drop, they stop. this anymore <laughs> it's like uh, I started something and I don't know what it is now anymore so they basically kind of do it and then they get crowded right here I'm 
challenge. Is to interfere command. A speed challenge. Uh, step down, pick up, step down. Got that. Stepping down, tw let's say, stepping down twice from where they are to here basically makes them hop on these lines. If I could recycle this, that'd be nice. But then on the way, I need them to pick something up. We're standing the data cube. Pick it up. This way I can recycle this as a two step down function. And then if standing no data cube and data cube there. There's the data cube there. Step down to the next row and assess the next row. But I think I need to go down the line and not the row. Or go down the. Those are not columns. Oh. So we'll all get here. I'll be like, this doesn't match. I need to do what? Basically on the line. They need a step. Okay. Step over one. Make this is this. I'll take them to the wall. I need to make a wall thing. It says if either side that side is a wall. Has to be somewhere where I can say if either side is a wall. Then to make this step down, 
been a first. If here it says skip that, skip that. Gap, drop it. Dang it. The walk down the line look for gaps. Walk down the line. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, wait. Uh if standing on a data cube and the wall is to your right. Step down, step down. Technically, I don't have to do just when they hit the wall, period. Yeah, I can recycle that double step there. Then this is a different. Yep, down. Toys. There you go. Right. Do that assist. So how do we get past this loop? It's this. As I say, if. Okay, if this is not a wall. Right. It is a wall, but down twice. And then step left. This 
not a wall. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're jumping this. Here. Otherwise, we're jumping this. This is it. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pick it up. They step down. Okay. I'm missing a step down, I guess. <laughs> oh, I whatever. It works now. Feel it. Oh, why aren't they dropping it? I need them to recycle this assessment of where they are before they take their next step. Okay. It's a wall. Step over. Or if it's not a wall, step over. What's up, Knots? Hi, bye. Gotta go drive work. G or uh, good luck out there. Appreciate you stopping by, saying hi. If you know any programmers? Send them my way. Ah, <laughs> uh, break. This assessment covers this line, and we drop down. Need to figure out exactly where it falls apart. Make assessment. Like I put it down. Here's this. Let's follow this guy. Can we follow this guy? He's like, do do do. There's no wall. Ah, I get it. If there's no wall. And where they're standing is the data cube. Otherwise, drop. Right? If I add this to everything, okay, I don't know. Don't overthink it, I just want to do this before I forget what the thing is. Standing is a data cube. Otherwise... Drop. Let's see. Do the page over. Appreciate it. <gasps> Twenty-four, <laughs> and it works on every randomization of the game or this assessment. Jeez. Intro to shredding. Let me introduce something very dear to my heart. Shredders. They shred everything dropped inside. Anything. They shred. Oh. Ha ha ha. Yes, I apologize for my behavior. Shredding just gets me unseasonably excited. Yes. I'm ready to con... What? Consent... Right? What's the trait? Never got the data cube. Well, Flace never fared. 
Okay. Put all data cubes. So I'll spare her. I know this. I know this one that you can just tell them to step down, pick up the data cube, and go shred. But if below them is a data cube, this will spare her life. Uh, step down, pick up data cube. Step down and then drop. Oh, wait, give to give to Redder. All right. Did everyone survive your first day with the shredders? Yes, yeah, surviving is technically not a strict requirement. <laughs> as long as work gets done. So see, I could have did I could have did the four if I didn't spare her life. I could have just said everybody pick up whatever she would have been like, I have nothing to pick up. And I believe she would have thrown herself into the shredder. I think. Not necessarily, actually. But she would have nothing to give except for herself, I think, so technically it would have thrown her in the... I think we can all agree. I think just one data cube was not enough. Yes, I understand your burning desire for more things to shred. Yes. You are welcome. You can't have data cubes scattered about like some sort of freewheeling tech company. Shred all the cube. Alright. In you're never required to use in, but it can be helpful. Uh If below you is the shredder, then step up. Step up. And if where you're stepped equals something, pick it up. And I say go down to Shredder. Step down. And then you reach the Shredder. Give to it. Now I need my jump commands to help me out here. If you're here, step up. You're on something. Pick it up. Otherwise... Step up again. Pick something up. Step down. You step down. Down. 
otherwise keep stepping down. Then repeat. Everything. Good. Go back up. extra did I do? What three extra things did I do? It works though, whatever. We're good. Look at me poking, I'm solving this one for you. Well, sort of. Work on the right just isn't working. Also, everyone dies. Can you fix it? Only two changes? Much. Technically, the game killed that person, but they still gave me the... It's like they gave me an achievement for killing somebody. <clears throat> um... If... There's no wall, step down. So I guess I put... Four. Here, I need to put or it's not a death abyss. Step down, pick up. Let's say pick up. Let's say pick up. Uh. Give to Shredder, otherwise step over. I guess I can end after... Give to Shredder. I can say, like, step aside, maybe? I change. I just added or. Step down. I didn't add this jump. The jump was already there. There's no wall there. Step down. There's no wall. Step down. I think I'm thinking of it. Um, the wall part's messing me up. There's no wall there, or the negative is missing part. There is a hole there. Should be not. That. What? Step and then jump.
Oh, I need to make it skip. Or if you're standing on a data cube. And then it fills this. Alright. Step down. Can I move stuff? It wants me to do it unless, like, in two lines or whatever. That's not necessary. Step down. Basically, just step down regardless. Step down doesn't need to be in here. This just is to be if not ready. Not standing on a data cube, step down again. Otherwise, pick it up. Go to shredder. After you give to it in. That's it. Did it. In. So basically they're saying what the, the guy told me to correct it in like using no more than two codes, lines of codes, but technically with the eight you had, you could have just rearranged it to make it work apparently. Uh, green light mean. Let's try going in. Just rearrange this, what it's saying. Or change it. Is this the same one I left it with? Okay. We're standing. Not a data cube. Step up. Or step down. Otherwise, pick it up and then shredder give to. Give to. I guess, like they said, te technically. works but everybody dies. <laughs> or not? Huh. Eight. Oh. That put that light. But what's this light? These I have both of them. This one I have the top one. But maybe that's a secondary optional challenge? I think all that, that comes from. That just gonna create itself, you know. As much as fun as uh much fun as some people think shredding is what I'll do is shred will eventually run out of data. I think we're. I think you're. Oh, we ready? Got better. Shifting something. Pick up. <laughs> I 
I didn't like their new printers. Guys? Oops. It appears to have made a mistake. Let's all consider this a success and move on. Good job, everyone. <laughs> One command. Though I think I was supposed to be take from and not pick up. That's funny. I got both of them there. The one of them is for the optional, the other one is for the randomized? Maybe? I don't know. Comes a moment in the person's life. Progress marches so fast, faster than you can keep up with be scary but also beautiful. I'm sorry, this one like me. Got a little hooked up this morning when we got a new shipment. Of the disposable shredders. No more wasteful shredder double M dipping. Yes, brand new shredder uh, in this room can be used once only. It will violently explode if you try to use them more than once. I know this is a special day. Let's try and focus on your work. You only use them once. Step over. Pick up what you're standing on. Now. Step. Down. And if that. Below you is a shredder. A shredder. Below you is a shredder. Give to it. Oh wait! Oh no no no. I was like, I could be clever with this. I can make them hand them to each other. I don't have to make them walk around. Below you is a shredder. Oh, wait, I can still do that. Or... Below you is a person. Give it to him. What's up, constant innovation? Over here trying to teach myself how to program. Um, step over, pick it up, and step down. Strider, give it to it. If it's a worker, give it to it. Then, step over and down. And repeat the process. I think this does it. It actually moves everybody though. You're probably these games are amusing. Wife plays them, learns the code. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Everybody grab it, give it to it. Oh, it's gotta explode. Wait a minute. I mean, give two. Hold on, let me see if I can do it the way I was thinking, oh, the way I have it in my brain. On the step down, there's a shredder. I think I have to hold on this worker part. Because, like I said, their hands are full. Give it to them. Yeah, I mean, there's no... I just need to do the data cubes, but each shredder may only be used once. If you try to reuse it, they'll be destroyed. So I don't think it's counting them dying as being used. If I, if I use two, if I put two data cubes in it though, I, feel, I think I'll fail. But <laughs> apparently killing them is not failing. Um, I tend to be on the side of life though. <laughs> when it comes to the decision of trying to kill these little worker guys. <laughs> oh 
Walmart would love me as an HR guy. No, I'm on the side of life. This person, however, this person here does not mind. <clears throat> Pick up, step down. If it's a shredder, give it to it. Then I do if a person. If below me is a shredder or a person. Give it to him. Give down. Then take a step over, step down. Okay, I think this makes sense. Wait, wait, wait. But once they give it to the shredder, end. Okay, so I don't need to make, actually, I could just make this person, right? We'll see. And go around her. What happens when there isn't a shredder below you? Oh, it changes it up. I think this one works, yeah. Probably not the most efficient code. I feel like these most efficient codes are versions of the code that, uh... Probably kill people. <laughs> Next. Content creator's bug fix. Whoops. It appears you were given the wrong commands in your previous assignment. Manager feels badly about that. Let's not pick up printers anymore. <laughs> they are heavy. Manager wants management wants or man, wants. management has provided new commands for you. Take from. You can take from printers. Or tries to get the efficiency bonus and asks me to help when she's stuck. <laughs> Very admin about max depletion. I might go back and try. HR will love her. <laughs> By any means necessary. Um, so I'll use your new command response. Okay, take from. Okay, what am I trying to do? Each worker must print fresh data cubes and immediately shred them. Repeat forever. Take from here. Step over, give to this. Uh, there's not even an if necessary, I don't think. And then step back, keep forever. Oh, let's stop. Okay, okay. We you know we said repeat forever. <laughs> that should be enough. We're not robots. Four fewer. Five? Wait a minute, what? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> How do I remove... I have to have take from, I have to have give to, and I have to have... Oh, clever girl. Give to that one. <laughs> they're, they're just dancing. Yeah, diagonally. Uh, take from down. Oh wait, I said did it wrong. Give to that. Take 
come get to you. I think we need to step, right? We need this step so we don't kill ourselves, maybe. Give to this. No. Because then what am I taking from? Take from... Your teacher? Oh, no worries. I'm legitimately considering learning myself. Um, so far I'm, I'm being a little, I'm getting a little, uh, discouraged, but just, I don't think it's a matter of, uh, even if I'm discouraged because I don't have a natural knack for it, doesn't mean I'll still, I won't still, you know, try to pursue it because I just don't, I just don't have my headspace in what the basics are. So I, once I learn the basics, I feel like then I could probably have a natural to be able to instinctively know what to do here. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. So why, I don't understand why take from this one and then give to this one. I don't understand why they shred themselves afterwards. Okay, take, give to. Why? Oh, because it's... Wait, 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 wait. No, the jump should take him back up above. Oh. <laughs> take from... And they're standing in front of a shredder. Wait, wait. Exposure is kind of problem solving. Yeah. I like this exposure thing. Like... Take from here, give to here. What do I do an if? An if and then jump and that'll be four. I think I need an if to kind of... If... This is... Printer do this. Otherwise, step. That's five though. Step back. I do like this. <laughs> if there's a printer there, take from it, otherwise. Oh wait, if there's a printer there, <laughs> take from it. God. Take from. Give the diagonal. Take from. I think that's the one. Okay. We did it. So there's a step included in there. Step included somewhere in there that blah blah blah. I'll figure it out. <laughs> My brain hurts now. Yay, two dots. So I not only need to make the most efficient line of code, but it needs to beat randomized versions of the assessment which I think just randomizes like these numbers make sure I'm not like specifically telling this person to pick up this specific number in a million long million command line 
Falcons appear to be backwards. What? I said, I know what you're thinking. It's not just because I'm looking at them from here. <laughs> yes, please reverse this line of view. Okay. Reverse the line. Pretty sure I can do this. I'm pretty sure the most optimal way to do this is in like two codes, right? Or two lines. Well, everybody needs to wait. Everybody basically needs to pick up what's below them. What's up, big boy? Uh, Charles, this game is 7 billion humans. But uh, basically, the lore is automation. Technology and automation have taken over every aspect of the human our human existence, but we still wanted jobs, so then they, the machines in their ever, in their ever uh, infinite wisdom produced essentially these jobs for these people to just work on, which are just random kind of, basically a puzzle game about coding, progressively getting harder and more in depth into what coding is. Or at least parry, parrying, parodying them. Pick up that. And if... If there's somebody... What does pick up that do? So they just grab it from where they're standing. If... If there's a per I want to use the person as a reference. If there's somebody, like if there's a worker to your right. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is the right train of thought. There's a worker to your right, which that would apply for everybody except for her. Then... <laughs> Regurgitate in. <clears throat> I could also use the holes as a reference, like I can say, if there is a hole... to the left diagonal of you. That would be addressing her. And it's like I could tell her to like step up and then I could get her another what if command that loops and saying if there's people here, go to here. And if there's no one there anymore, go down. Then if there's this, drop it there. But then how does that apply to everybody else? I could address the numbers specifically, but then in the randomized versions it won't pass. Pick up what you get. Then if what you're holding is the hold what you're holding is. I don't know what direction it is either. If, if where you're standing equals left, I don't understand what that means. Unless that's something further down. How do I get these guys? Where's the line of dead cues in place for soldier back? Okay, we're going in for a... Uh, Okay, nine commands.
No clue. Unless him saying that sentence in the beginning is a kind of a clue. Pick up. I don't have any give to commands either, so I can't keep these guys where they're at and tell them to like hand it. Oh wait, I know. I can pick him up. Then if there is if there is a hole right there, step down and then step over. This will she'll pick it up and she'll step down and she'll step over. Otherwise, step. Over. And reassess the what if. Once everybody's here, she'll be here and then she'll wait for the next command which will say, if, There is not a hole here. Like I say, if there is a hole here, drop it. Otherwise, just take a step over. Drop an end, I should say. Or, I can give her a head start. Or will she have a head start? Let's see. Because I have to use a reference to be a person. Else? Reassess. I don't know if this is going to work. going to work. Wait. Oh wait, this, okay. So now they're gonna drop it immediately, I think. This person behind her is gonna drop it. Yeah. <sighs> so. I have the basic idea down there. I need another if. Otherwise, step. And if. There is person. Or data cube. Drop. Right. She's going to drop it. Yes. Wait, what? Excuse me? Wait. What are you get? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, so it looked like it was working. the step drop I do this
How do I step? Do I need the jump? No, wait. Okay. I think I put another if in here. I think I'm adding too many stuff, too much stuff, but for the sake of beating this one. If there's a data cube. Wait, isn't that what I did before? Why does this seem different? Maybe I have to follow her, understand why she's not doing it. Everybody up! Oh. She can go back one. I had it on the fast speed. Um, why are you here? Unless you got loot from down here from stepping over. Oh wait, 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 wait! I get it. Uh. Oh wait, no 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 wait, uh or no oh, dang. I was gonna say or a hole here. See the bug. There's a hole there, then drop it. Otherwise there's a cube there, then drop it. Otherwise, step there. Maybe that. I don't like how they're walking right there in place. That that gives me the idea that they're still they're pushing. Just trying to step. Why is she trying to step over? Oh, right here's the bug. I think. Bingo. <laughs> so she's trying to, everybody's trying to do these two steps at once. Okay, I tried to consolidate there, so let's see. I pick it up, if there's a hole there, Go down, and if I guess I can isolate it and say if there isn't a thing here, and then it would jump to <laughs> drop. Any drop end. I think this is, this is not efficient, but it w I think this was this will work maybe. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Nine. I did it in twenty. <laughs> twenty. Jeez. Not even. If I was close, I'd try to. F figure out <laughs> if I was close if I was like 10 then I'd be like oh, okay let's figure this out but if I'm that far off I feel, I feel like I'm not I need to work harder 
or like you said, be exposed to it more so then I can think about it in a proper way. <laughs> you wish I like is that a do do I am I teachable? Do you think I'm teachable? Because I'd hate to be like, man, you you know, you chew through it and you get you get to there you get there, but uh, don't be a programmer. <laughs> am I teachable? All these years I've uh, actually many work. I've evaluated many workers just like you. They've also been evaluating me. And rating and the ratings are in. On scale zero, actively hostile to ninety nine, flawless specimen of managerial excellence. How would you rate me? Now we know. We'll just print out these evaluations here and we'll see how I did. Chris, please take my evaluation data cues from the printers. Pick a number less than five. Let's just toss it in the shredder and go print another one. All workers must hold numbers 50 or higher. <coughs> Been married with his, so you know, like this. <laughs> Teach me, okay. That's all I was hoping for. We must hold a data queue of the or high. All right. Pro tip from it: you can if wins to query things you're holding. Okay. We didn't have that before. Everybody basically has to take a step down, and now we're in reach. We can reach the printers and stuff. So then we're picking up from the printer. And if my item is greater than or equal to 50, you're gonna get some sleep. All right, constant innovation. Appreciate you hanging out. I keep teaching, teaching myself. <laughs> I'm gonna keep studying. Yeah, I'm thinking about also watching some like Khan Academy free YouTube sessions of the basics. <coughs> if that is greater than 50, step over. Right? I don't know if I should end it because I don't. I don't know how it manages them being in each other's way. So then it'd be like otherwise give to shredder. So that'll include a step over to the shredder. Then I need to step back. Wait, I could do pick up from there. Nope, that. Technically, I could put end here, and he'll be in the way, so I need to get him out of the way. Let's just see how this works. Oh no! Forgot take from. From why is pick up of oh, for uh, <laughs> okay? Oh my god, pick up up here, okay? Fixed it. Additional if 
there is a printer there to take from. Otherwise, they're waiting to step down. Yes, there's a printer to take. Oh no. Okay. okay. All right. So they're just kind of pushing each other out of the way. I mean, it's working. Eight. I did it in twelve. Speed challenge. Target. Faster than. Randomized test. So I beat the randomized test optional twelve. Where could I make this more efficient? Technically, I can get rid of this. And say, if there's a printer there, take from it, otherwise step down to it. And then, if you're at it, take from it. And if, item is blah blah blah. So I don't necessarily need this, maybe? I think I say end. And then they'll kind of make way maybe for whoever wants to. That doesn't give a, take a move away. Greater than, or I could say if it's less than. Less than I'm gonna go to forty nine with the shredder and then take the thing. And then first at nine. One more. I can knock one more step off of this. If printer, I think I could combine this. These take from I'm thinking. Combine them somehow. I can actually do it if I do this. No wait. Don't work. I'll <laughs> say so step diagonally. So then this all of a sudden applies. But then they'll keep stepping diagonally away from their line. Take from printer. Down towards it. The shredder and they take back from the printer.
How do we get back in front of the fitter? Might be able to get rid of a jump. I make the jump do the whole thing or something like that. Take from here. Step down. Take from here. jump to take it. Now, take from here. Need at least one jump. If printer take. Weird. The printer take from I was take from there. down part of the loop. Make him step into the shredder, probably. Make this work. 
Okay. Oh yeah, he's a printer. Dang, this heart. <laughs> if down, that's a printer. Take from it. I say, I say like, and what? Well, I know. I think I should just should have just accepted my, the win. Now I don't even know how I. Everybody step down. If it's a printer, take from it. Otherwise. Go to the back of line automatically, maybe. Nothing. So I should say printers there.
How do we keep these guys from interrupting their their cycle? Say there isn't somebody right there. Step down. Let's right, take from it. Should work, I think. God dang it. <laughs> oh, I had to have to jump backwards. Excuse me? these guys out of the way. How do you get them out of the way in an eight? In an eight step code. My item equals nothing. <laughs> Go to the printer. Hands are empty. Step down. It's like uni something universal. Or if my item is... If my item is greater than or equal to 50. Otherwise, we're giving it to the shredder, which should be right there, relative to where we, at the earliest point, we can have our item, which will step us over. So then, from here, we need to pick up. <laughs> need to take. <gasps> we can pass it back. That might be the key. Everybody steps down. Then take from this. And if your item, if it's greater than equal to 50, you're actually gonna give it to the person behind you. Otherwise, you're gonna give it to the shredder and then take from here. Repeat this assessment. Eight! That's the one. Oh god. <laughs> uh, excuse me? You got 99, you got the highest number. It's equal to, greater than equal to 50. Now this person's gonna give it to the person behind them. Now she has to take from.
have to take from that one. Dang it. Otherwise... Okay, still works. Right. Throwing it. Making it. Passing it. Gave themselves the machine. <laughs> So after they pass it, jump to take from below. Wait, what? Step down. Take from. Conditional give. Up or down. Okay, I think it'll work. It. One reach here. Oh, I have. This one needs a jump. Then that puts us back over. What can we get rid of? Like the step we don't really need, but we need to move down one. They all started out if they all started out down one tile, then we wouldn't need this one. Um take from Less. Less, I make him step diagonally down this way. So we're all standing in front of the thing. Then we take from that side. And then if we, we give that way. Right? Might have did it. Oh wow. <laughs> they, threw, they threw it. Catch. Okay, step down. They take, they step diagonally down. Take from this side. Give it an assessment. And if it's good, they give it to the person there. not they give it to the shredder and then they take from oh wait this okay wait why is she standing still now because she completed everything so then it should be this dang it Step diagonally, take from that side, into that, into that, jump to there. So if they're standing, if they're standing in front of the printer, mm -hmm. 
Okay. God dang it. Step down. But I'm holding the 50. You go to a greater than actually. Give to that person. See, it's funny how the give to the person diagonally up doesn't actually reset the position, but give to the shredder does. I mean, give to the per give to a person doesn't move them, but give to shredder does move them. Give to, they'll throw it to them. Give to Shredder, they'll move. Take. Take from. So this is where we do take from. Eight. We're at seven, so we actually had one to play around with. We need to do one that's opposite from that one. So we need to take from below. Yeah. Then jump the whole thing. Below. It is working. Who's missing? People back there. Oh, the people in the back, they're not, not still passing it. Dang it. Okay, get to the person above. And instead of this, we do a step over. This is the eight. That's, this is the one. God dang it! <laughs> and I'll take... Take from there. I'll throw it, so I don't need the step. Otherwise, give it to that. from take it or give to Otherwise, okay, so I can't take from there because I'm in the wrong position for it. Okay. 
Yep. Take. Take from here. Please. You don't give to. This one works. God dang it. Lost a tool. It's hard to track because the numbers are randomizing, so I can't can't see who I should keep track of before they kill themselves. <laughs> Step over. Take from there. They're already holding something, which is fine. Assess it. Give it to that person. Otherwise, give it to this. Then... Up to that? Lost it. Take. Red. Okay, this one might be the one. God! So when these people are, have their hands full, something happened. Can't give. Then they give to. Weird is happening. Tosses it. It's tossing it. Picking up. Passing it. Oh. Wait, why is he giving? Why is she giving that person eleven? Is that eleven? Are you holding an eleven? If it's greater than or equal to fifty, you're supposed to get it. And now she's killing herself. <laughs> what? Take from. Oh, this take from is overriding this give to condition. Conditional give to. Okay. Okay. So step diagonal. Alright. That changes things actually, because then I could say take it from whoever has it. I could put the burden on the line and not the sorter person. Step diagonally. If. Maybe don't step diagonally. Step down. Then take from. Wait. Yeah, take from there. If. If. Whatever is there. Is greater than or equal to fifty. Then you take it. All right, I just do that. Otherwise, take it. 
give to here. And take from here again. Back, maybe? That's eight. That's the one. Take. Branch. Oh god. <laughs> Everybody started moving. Step down. Take from there. It's really the 50. Not still take from it and give it there and take from over here. Jump to where though? Jump to here maybe? Because then somebody else might take it from us. Let's see if this works. I don't understand. I was going to read the priority there. Take it. Wait. So they're looping here because... Person. Greater than or equal to 50. Why are they take from? It's greater than take from. Oh, because I'm still saying take from. It's greater than 50. Take it. I guess I'm trying to use this else when I could just use it in another if. Like. You can still come out with 8. Step down. If it's greater, take from it. Take from the person, take from anything that's greater than. It. Otherwise, still take from well, this. Is what I do. Less than equal to 49. Well, I still gotta take it. Take. Give to. Take from. Okay. This is eight. If it's greater than or equal to 50, pick it up. If it's less than or equal to 50, or less than or equal to 49, we're still supposed to be taking it, giving it to the shredder, and then taking it back. Why didn't it? I don't understand. What are you doing? You're at this assessment, it's not, so you're going to leave it. Bless them. We're gonna take it. So I don't think I can put the burden on their line.
here. Oh wait, do I say and? That's another line. Oh, that's another line. Yeah. Can I play printer? Data cube and I don't understand why this would work and the other one would. This is a printer. Take them. This is a worker. And oh, I see, I see. Wait, it's a worker. Wait, wait. Better take from it, and they'll just hold it. This literally won't do anything unless I don't have anything. So if my item is nothing, then take another thing. Great. Right. Otherwise, give to there. Take again. <laughs> no. If gonna take. Probably get off because my brain. I think my brain. I could stare at this like all day and still be in tr engrossed in it. Um, but you guys are probably like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> guys losing it. So this was seven billion humans. Um, about automation and being given automation taking over the world and humans been giving been given. Um, been given kind of just like the most basic type of job to occupy their time since automation's taken over. Um, this might be a better game to play like with an active chat to kind of sp spit out ideas. Um, so that I don't run into a wall and I'm just stuck and it's all on all on my all on my own shoulders to kind of figure it out. So I feel like this is a, probably a game uh, that's more fun done in groups. But uh, not to say that I don't anybody just wants to sit back, chill, and lurk. Um, I'm not knocking you guys, but uh, like what what happens when I'm stuck? I'm just stuck. And like I said, I'm actually gonna still sit here since it's one. It's literally one command line away from being from meeting the uh, the goal, the bonus, the optional goal. I'm gonna still work on it, but I uh, I, I know that uh, me sitting here staring at it and trying to understand it isn't probably the most interesting. So I'm, I'm there's probably a balance. There's a balance of doing it as a group, doing it by myself. And I don't. Th I feel like it's too much in unbalanced on on me, but uh, I'm I'm enjoying the game as far as trying to exercising my brain. I feel my brain exercised. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe I'll get a nosebleed. 
asleep or something, but <clears throat> we'll see uh, what I feel like playing tomorrow. I won't, won't be playing this. Um, I don't know. Like I said, this it requires. I feel like a game like this to stream requires a very specific atmosphere um, of the person playing it, community around the person, and whatever. But appreciate you guys joining me. If you stop through or whatever, what have you. Um, I finished playing Spider-Man, so this is uh, it took me six six streams. So this is part six here. This was yesterday, and then it's part five. If you check that out on YouTube. Um, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click these thumbnails at the very end of the video. Uh, appreciate that. And if you get my old social medias, check out. Appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I feel like this was a miss <laughs> stream-wise. But I was interested in it nonetheless. And I, I was engaged in it the whole time because my brain is just most constantly just trying to figure out the puzzle. So. We'll try to figure out something more engaging for you guys to watch, more interesting um, for you guys to watch. And I always just play what I feel like playing, to be honest. And if I feel like playing this, I doubt it because a, a part of what makes me want to play it is wanting you guys to want to watch it. So, and that's uh, there's also a balance there. I don't all always play what you guys want to watch me play. But I try to keep a good balance, and this one's kind of imbalanced. So. See you guys tomorrow with question mark game on the slate. Stay tuned. Peace.